to my channel. I upload for you every Monday, Thursday, and Friday, plus I do surprise uploads because I pre-film, and I would love for you to just join the party and subscribe. Please click that button down below, and if you already have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I am doing another surprise upload today because I have got a new release wig to review for you. Whenever I get my hands on new releases, I try to bring them to you ASAP. And I will tell you everything about her. If you feel I left something out though, please let me know down in the comments and I will address it. Please also make sure you tell me your thoughts on this unit. And if there is a wig you'd like me to review, Put that down below as well because I do take requests. So who have I got today? Well, she is Davy. She's from Outre and is a lace front. Color I have her in is DRFF Cajun Spice. That one right there. But check it out. She comes in a lot of beautiful colors. So you have a lot to pick from. She does have natural baby hairs. Her lace is HD and she's also heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I picked her up from Elevate Styles for $26.99. Here's Davy right out of the box. I do love this color. So glad they came out with it. And I do also like to show you the cap construction including the lace so you can see its transparency and shading. There's those baby hairs. The lace looks really good and transparent. And I will flip her inside out so you can get a better look at her cap construction. She's got the standard breathable mesh lining going on. There is her parting space. She's got combs on each side, one right over here and then one over here. And then plus she does also have a comb here in the back. She's got adjustable straps, and I'm going to stretch her out. Stretchability isn't too bad. Yeah, I can live with that. So I'll go put her on, and I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts. Okay, I have got Davy on. She's ready to go for the day. What do you all think of her? I think she's cute. Adorable, in fact. Love this wavy bob that she is. And what sets her differently apart from the other wavy bobs or curly bobs out there is her cut. She has got a blunt cut going on here. And I think it's perfectly done. It looks even edgy, in my opinion. So definitely liking this cut. And I did tell you that I love this color. As soon as this color came out in the fall, people went nuts for it. It's one of the colors that sells out pretty quickly. It's beautiful. That's a good reason, <laughs> you know, but honestly, Outre has got a ton of other colors in their arsenal. I would love to see some of those brought back into the mix once in a while. It would just be really nice to see a change, but I'm still going to love this color. It's professional looking and that's what I like about it just the way that the number two root trickles down so you have some strands where the root color is longer or deeper down than on others and I think that's very neat so this color is very vibrant it pops it's going to look very flattering on a lot of skin tones it's got excellent luster since it's got more of that copper tone to it you can really get that wiggy shine sometimes, but I am not seeing that at all. And this color also goes really good with yellows, which is why I'm wearing yellow today. Also looks great with browns and greens. So those colors are going to make it pop a little bit more. And she's about 16 inches, which is a perfect length for a bob. And I do think this is a good one. You can wear to work with casual wear. You know, that's the one thing about bobs. You can wear them everywhere and with anything. <laughs> but her texture, it's very soft and to me feels more like a light yakky. And I feel just a slight bit of silkiness in there. It's not over the top, anything like that. But 
I do like her softness. Very nice. It does feel realistic. And I will show you what she looks like though from the back now. All right. Don't really have to worry about bringing much hair to the front there. <laughs> her density, it's realistic. Obviously with this length, it's gonna give you more volume. And of course with the waves that does add to it. But I do think her density is really good for this look. So it might even be a bit on the thicker side to some, but I don't mind it. I think that it is a realistic density overall. Her parting space, she is a right-sided part. I think that's excellent too. You got the baby hairs right here, which if you want to lay those down, you can. And I think that these baby hairs are perfectly done, makes it look realistic. Now, I did have a problem with my wig cap being seen through the lace since it's HD. It's very transparent, so it is a lighter tone, so be aware of that. So I just had to take a lighter shade of powder to kind of match that better, but I always do use a lighter powder on the part just because our scalps are typically lighter, yet I did have to go even lighter than I normally do. And thankfully, I think it still looks okay, but that's how I could get that wig cap to blend in better. Or I could have just taken the wig cap off, but oh well, it's on there. So I think that this is a good depth and width. I didn't have to do any extra plucking, so that's always a plus. And I didn't have to glue her down. She lays nice and flat. I think the sides are really good. They're obviously a bit on the thicker end since there's no pre-plucking with those and very slight lift up. But it's easy to blend along the sides, I think, especially if you wanna use your own baby hairs, even though she comes with a good amount. And it is all covered up. But you can tuck her behind the ear if you want. I think that's kinda of cute, even though she is a bit on the thicker side still works. Let's pull that back out. And I'm not having to worry much about tangling or shedding with her. Uh, she's thicker, like I said, so you might get a little resistance, but not necessarily tangles. And shedding is not an issue either with her. I'm not getting anything excessive with that. She is very, very comfortable to wear the combs are in the right place with her, so I do like her fit. And I do think that her cap is medium size, but I was pretty happy with the stretchability. So I do think that she is most likely gonna be larger head friendly. So I actually like Davy. I think she is a winner winner chicken dinner. One you should go pick up. She's not that expensive. So if you're looking for some cuteness, there you go. She will do that for you. And that's my review and recommendation for Davy today. But don't forget to tell me your thoughts down in the comments. And I will just see you next time in my next video. And until then, bye-bye.